the bigger one. And it'll wind around and over away from the front of us, and then wind over around over top of the truck and then close to the dashboard. Uh, fortunately, in the year 1974, they came up to the can of gas over here and they set it on fire and they just burned it through. Uh, and it shut down the railroad to about a bunch of the workers who were dead when she took the switch back. This is the super part of this shit. Now we do hit the 10 and a half. One spot over the 12% raise. You guys have a front couple of cars. If you take a look down to your right, that is a switchback. That thing is basically the reason why we're in camp here. We don't see what to do with the home of the street and railroading. And we're going to shut the street backwards and uh, switch back here in just a second. Now, you guys, the first couple of cars with the left and right, you're going to see that burn down trestle structure kind of hanging out over the top of us. train wheels slip on the rails. And I'll tell you just how intense that can get here in just a minute. Okay, I'll show you the switch here. Oh, there's the trestle. Alright, well that's slipping that we were hearing. And it illustrates what makes trains work so well. The whole idea, I guess, right, is the principle of maximum friction and minimum resistance. Now, through that section where the engine was just slipping, there's a couple of trees that have been dropping leaves now for a couple of months. And it's only a couple of little wet leaves that can make this whole engine and the whole train slip out and jerk and jolt backwards and forwards up the hill. Those wheels, the weight, the wheels will squeeze the oil out of the leaves slip, rust as well. Now on a switchback like this, especially when the train, the engine is trying to push the train instead of pulling it, and as steep as we are and as heavy as this can get, in about three car lengths, this engine is going to start working a little bit. Now some of you, I don't know if you guys can see how kind of up the rails and stand on all along the rails up there. As soon as we start really getting going, especially on a day after it's rained when the rust is going to form, rust is the excellent lubricant. Now it sounds good. We'll start getting up here. Fireman. Right about now, he's going to start getting his sand ready. The little scoop of sand. He's going to sand out the firebox. I'm not saying what we're going to do it this time, but when the engine right about now will start to slip, the engineer will open up a lever, he'll dump the sand down behind the wheels, and believe it or not, there can be so much friction that happens between the wheels and the sand in that instant, when that happens, that the sand will go down behind the wheels and little shards of glass will spit out the other side. So, coming up the switchback, Tennessee instead of tracks from just on down there, here's the level we're going to reconnect to. And the other secondary part of the switchback is called the tail track. Now, this tail track in particular was built to hold only six cars and one engine. It's a little place called the Hollywood Engine. That's the last couple parts. I'm up to what's happening here around this curve and there's nothing going on here. Let's go to the top. Coming up a hill like this, of course, the engine is going to Are you 
guys that can't see what's going on, we're quickly running out of the hills here, out of the derails here, and it's basically just a blank hillside. So we both guys basically, when we do manage to not smash straight over the hill behind us, that's a great day, that's Halloween.
go and check out. Right just ahead of the engine. There's, you'll know it when you see it. There's a big ring of redwood trees with a big open space in the middle. And it's what you call a cathedral grove of redwoods. There's on your text, you say, call these cathedral groves because obviously the shafts of light shine down through the trees, kind of open size, kind of reminder of the big church. Now, believe it or not, folks, this is a 6,000 year old formation. It takes about 6,000 years to form a ring of trees like that. Right feet above the sea level. This is the top of the mountainside. Now over on the left, on the hand side of the train, about where the first car is, there's a little path that also goes up there and you can look over the ridge. It's a beautiful sight. But anyway, here we are.
I forgot. That was a short one because, as you might have noticed down there at the depot, we, we are working on our water tower right now. So, the water tower is right here. We got to save what we have in that boiler and that water tender. Uh, right there on the left, there's a super dangerous looking fire machinery. That's a steam powered sawmill, like that guy Isaac Rabbit set up. It burns to about a quart of wood every 10 minutes. You kind of burn an apple you're trying to cut with a thing like that. Everybody have a great